Hello Virgo, welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. This is for the week of December 4th through 10th. Uh, we go Sunday through Saturday. Uh, this is also a general reading, so please take it as it resonates. You might want to watch your sun, moon, and rising to gain more insight as to uh, what's coming in for you for this coming week. Um, I'm going to start by pulling an oracle. I've combined my Blue Messiah deck and my Chakra deck. And I'm going to pull one in opening and one in closing. And we're going to see what spirit has for Virgo, please, for this coming week. What do we have for Virgo spirit? What do we have for Virgo? All right, Virgo. Soul tribe. We have soul tribe. And I am going to look that up. It's all about connecting with soul tribe. Finding your soul tribe, perhaps. Going to them for your support. Um, <laughs> there's a sentence up here. Your vibe attracts your tribe. Author unknown. Soul tribes are spiritually connected through vibration. When you are around someone who vibrates at a similar frequency, there's often a sense of connection and familiarity. As your vibration increases, so too do the vibrations of the souls who come to surround you. Life is indeed a wonderful adventure, and with every evolutionary leap into self-awareness, you attract different souls to your path. These souls, known as your soul tribe, vibrate at a similar frequency to yours. They complement your journey and for a while support and nurture your growth. As you evolve, however, you may feel a growing disconnection to these very same souls. No longer in energetic alignment, there is often a period of transition and ending. This time may not always be easy, especially for the ones you leave behind. As you progress and change, so too does your soul tribe. New souls who complement and support your journey will appear and provide lessons to accelerate the growth of your soul. If you are going through transitions, dear one, and find yourself moving away from souls that you no longer share a strong connection with, do not be disheartened. Everything that happens is part of the universal creative process of pushing your soul to evolve. It's time to step away with love and compassion. Be open to new relationships in your next enriching chapter. Um, and supporting your solar plexus and heart chakra is recommended here in the book. The solar plexus, um, perhaps tiger eye um, or citrine. And the heart chakra, of course, you can use rose quartz or something like that. Let's see what the tarot has. Let's see what we have for Sunday, please. For Sunday for Virgo. Sunday for Virgo. Eight of coins on Sunday. Sunday's all about paying attention to the details, honing your craft. Perhaps you're um, spending the day practicing, um, working on your gifts, your talents, paying attention to the details in your life, even the, your situations. Pay attention to the details here on Sunday. Okay, what do we have on Monday? The Ace of Wands on Monday. An opportunity. A new beginning. You put in your gifts, those talents that um, to work and creating a new beginning for yourself. T 
temperance look at these cards these are lower chakra energy um support your root chakra as well here maybe some red jasper or something an earthy stone to keep you grounded as you go through this energy temperance keeping things balanced on tuesday being patient you're paying attention to the details you're moving forward in this opportunity be patient keep things balanced um uh, keep your um god your equilibrium knowing where to give where to hold back where to balance things out so what do we have for wednesday please the nine of swords on wednesday okay um so there is a potential here to get caught up in the mind too much thinking <laughs> stinking thinking <laughs> where did i hear that before anyway um don't get caught up in the analytical running things through your mind the the negative thoughts the worry the stress take the opportunity you you're putting in the work you're paying attention to detail the opportunities coming in you're being patient balancing things out don't allow that mind chatter to distract you and take you away from what you're creating what you seek to manifest in the direction that you're moving don't allow those thoughts to come in and interfere with your progress we have the knight of coins yeah continue to take that slow and steady action planting those seeds trusting creator universe to nurture to grow those seeds that you're planting what do we have on Friday? All right, Friday. We have the Six of Coins. Okay, more balance, equal give and take, reciprocal energy. Nowhere to give, nowhere to hold back. Be generous with your gifts. Uh, but do not allow others to drain you. Make sure your finances, uh, your time, your energy, your relationships are balanced. There's reciprocal energy. There's equal give and take. What do we have on Saturday? The Three of Swords on Saturday. Three of Swords. Interesting. Is there some healing that needs to be done? Some healing. Do any necessary healing that you need to do on Saturday. What areas do you need to heal? Perhaps there's a situation, uh, there's something that you've let go of because it is no longer um in your best interest it's not it's not vibing with you anymore it's it's not at the same frequency you're rising above it take the time to heal from any loss anything that has left you feeling a little sorrowful has wounded your heart perhaps a little Take that time to heal. And then we have meditation here. Yeah. Take that time. Go within. Spend some time in meditation. Meditation is very good for healing. Um, and it's very good for gaining perspective and understanding in situations. Let me see what the card has to say. You've attracted this card into your awareness today as a sign that meditation is beneficial to you at present. Meditation is a powerful tool and has been practiced since the beginning of time. 
Meditation allows the mind to be still and connect directly with your soul and higher self. There are many ways to meditate. Visualization, breath, hand and body poses, dance, walking, music, spending time in nature. Um, the powerful practice of meditation can create an abundance of positive outcomes in your life, such as healing, expanded self-awareness, clarity, deep wisdom, insight, inner peace, relaxation, and a moment to retreat from the craziness of the world to realign and balance yourself. You may have been feeling a little lost lately and thinking that the stress of the world's bringing you down. It is now a perfect time to bring the practice of meditation into your world. Even if it's only five minutes, 10 minutes, whatever you can grab, whatever time you can find for that meditation to go within, to be still, to connect with spirit. Pulling this card today can also highlight that the answers you're searching for at this time will come to you through meditation. As you take the time to practice meditation, you will awaken and receive the answers to your questions. When we're in meditation, we're open to receiving those messages from spirit because we're being still. Let's uh, see what we have for a room. Radio, all about um, movement. Um, start taking that movement. You're, you've done the, you're taking the action toward your intention. Set out on the journey toward your intention and go with the flow. Allow spirit to work. Listen to the guidance that's coming in for you from spirit. Take things in stride. Don't stress. Don't worry. Don't push too hard. Keep things balanced and trust universe. Trust spirit creator. That's what I have. Thank you for joining me. Have a blessed week.